Hi everybody, I'm Mom, and I welcome you all to Momda's Life Handmade. Today is the day when we are supposed to tackle up a project which was long awaited, long neglected, or incomplete, and finish it up. This is a challenge that was put forward by Nicole Northgarden, a dear friend on YouTube, and I'll put a link to her channel in the description box below along with the playlist that she's creating. We were supposed to pick up any kind of project, show it and finish it. Yes, you cannot have your egg unless you crack it. One just needs to get started. That's very important and the way will be made. So today I'm going to hit two birds in one shot. <laughs> I'm going to tackle two very long awaited projects of mine. I have been uh, watching a lot of videos and I've got a lot of exposure on internet and YouTube regarding decorated journal making, scrapbooking and mixed media art. I was never exposed to this beforehand and I've never done this before and so don't have many supplies related to these but I wanted to try once. I really wanted to do those beautiful layering and adding colors and layers and different textures to the painting. I wanted to try this since a long time so today I'm gonna do that. Plus I also wanted to use this picture frame. Now long back somebody had gifted us a few paintings he had made and one of them is really beautiful and I have it in my living room. It's up there but uh, this painting uh, it fell down the grass floor broke and uh, the painting is uh, maybe one of his early paintings. It's a bit amateurish and uh, I don't display it. But I kept the frame because the frame is really good. So I want to use this picture frame. So once I do my mixed media art and uh, put it in this frame and uh, I'll keep it in my home, I'll display it in my living room. That's exactly what I love doing. I love trying different kinds of arts. I love doing different kinds of crafts, DIYs, trash to treasures, picking up something ordinary and turning it into something beautiful and useful. Decor, home recipes, so everything related to home within budget. And if you love such content and if you're new to my channel, I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button given below the video and yes, do hit the notification bell so that you're notified each time I post my video. To begin, I took this big paper and cut it to the size of the picture frame. I've marked beyond which I will not decorate. Then I got some papers, uh, different scraps from my home that I had. I have already told that I don't have special supplies for this craft work. So I'm going to use what I have at home. These are some old textbook paper I tore off an old book, some hand lettering, print, hand lettered letters that I downloaded and printed from internet, some floral cutouts that I printed out and this is a tag I will show later how I make it. This is a black and white photograph of me and my husband on an ordinary A4 size paper. Some more tags, again I'll show them how to make them. And I needed a nest with eggs and I had none with me so I just painted it using some ordinary crayons. To start the project, I tore the text paper because I like the irregular edges on the side. The paper is very old and fragile and I like how the edges add up on each other. I just pasted it using some ordinary glue, some glue stick. I don't want any border or heading, just the text and then layer it one after the other.
Once the base layer was done, it was covered with old paper. I trimmed out the photograph very close to the frame. I made these tags and they look old due to their edge and muted colors. I basically took some colored printed matter from a book and added border with brown felt pen and then a border with brown crayon. I filled in some blue color on one paper somewhere a little green and then smudged everything with a piece of rag. For the next tag, I took a yellowed old text paper, again added a border with brown felt pen and with a brown crayon. Here I sketched a bird over the text matter and added some faint colors. Finally, I smudged everything again with a rag and it was done. Next part was like playing zigzag puzzle. I cut the tags, arranged them, rearranged them till the photograph was beautifully framed by the tag. I then went ahead and glued the tags to the photograph, mostly to the back of the photograph. Finally, I pasted all these onto my base paper. Next, I added the nest followed by some floral cutouts such that the nest looks as though it is on the branch of a tree. To finish this look, I added more branches and leaves using green acrylic color and did some freehand brush painting. Nothing very intricate, but trying to get everything together. This video is not an inspiration for the expert mixed media artists or scrapbookers or people who do daily beautiful journaling. This is just to inspire people out there who had been holding themselves back and not trying something they wanted to try since a long time. Just give it a try and it will evolve and it will evolve beautifully the way you like it and you want it. I had designed my own wedding card and the wedding reception card and I am still left with some of these uh, reception cards. There are some extra ones. I love the rich brown handmade paper with gold motifs and lettering on it. Today I shall cut out the front motif and use it. I love the golden motif that I made and it reads Shubh Vivah. In Bengali, meaning auspicious or blessed wedding. 
This is also related to my marriage and family and so it gets a place in this artwork. I wanted more colors, happy colors here and so added some. I also added some gold touches to the picture frame and the nest. Finally, I wanted to add some more gold, so I got a tag, a picture corner and for sequins, I just took a regular stationary hole puncher and got some gold discs. I just used a random gold paper that was lying in the house for all this. I glued them in place and added weight and let them dry and be ready. I am loving this. Marriage, family, home takes time and so the old vintage paper and our picture is also in black and white. The pair of birds and the nest with eggs show our family. We have made our home and have been blessed with two wonderful kids. We nurture and cherish every moment of life and look forward to fresh blooms, hence the florals and greenery. Happiness and emotions are shown by the varying colors. We look forward to many more moments of celebrations like the sparks of gold here and there. My family loved my creation. Do let me know how you like it and I thank everyone for your time and support and I'll see you soon in my next video. Until then, take care.